full lighting in the in the room so someone ha some architect has to make it the ground floor should be at least 12 feet high because they want more ventilation which means in technical terms if you see an user wants a very clear picture about a very detailed le level about his sales process so you will have to capture the grain there the 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 grain is each transaction so you have to define the grain they are saying for this particular uh, data mart it should be uh, at the lowest possible grain that we are capturing like an HR department it will not have too much of data the data itself is small and you don't want to summarize the data instead you will say an employee has joined in certain month he has he got the promotion he got the bonus in so and so year and he got promoted so and so, so for an employee if you see in an organization maybe you will have 10 or 20 records not more than that so what is harm in maintaining the 20 records instead of instead of trying to do only uh, one record i mean one record is summary so you will have to uh, think about which makes sense and, and so definitely you have to capture all these requirements right so you are trying to do it based on that you will have to identify your tools now now comes the actual etl tool factor do i need to get a truck to move my data or see building a data warehouse doesn't require a tool etl tool is different etl is responsible only to extract data transform data and load it that is only a part of the building process which comes in the later picture first thing is design a data warehouse that's sophisticated enough that is where the actual modeling people the architects come into picture the highly paid people because they build the data warehouse and we are only the etlers who will load the data into that structure so etl tool comes later into the picture first you need to define at a high level so i'm going to imp implement the data warehouse like this it is going to be a multi-story the home which has a base floor with a 12 feet uh, as its ceiling and the, the top floor has has some sunproof or 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 things that can resist sunlight so you will define that and you will identify what is the database you want it to use then you will you will also think about the bi tools bi tools are the presentation layer so far we talked about right so how do you want to present the data for that let us let us think in a very generic sense while you plan and build your home in general what will you do and finally you would also have to look at your budget finally you are the one who has to monitor every uh, everything that comes out of uh, of your planning so after you have built a data warehouse you finally wanted to see how your data warehouse is what are the various things in it how much efforts you have put to build it how much uh, time it took to build it what is the budget at what time in what what day on what hour we have we are able to um, we are able to accomplish so and so requirement and also for every data entry first my the my my hero has moved into the single family home followed by his brother followed by his his um, in-laws followed by his parents so you'll have to monitor everything and try to find out are there any failures so for all that you want it to maintain you'll have to define how the reporting environment should be do i want a report in a small excel sheet or do i want a, a report that can refresh every minute and show me the online data wherever i can be i'm traveling i'm in singapore but i'm building a home in india still i can monitor if someone can publish the result saying today where are we tomorrow what is the projection and uh, what what can we do better to make things uh, things uh, easier like can we hire more professionals can we hire more trucks can we hire more laborers can we uh, can we get more uh, market sophisticated tools to do this all you will have to define yourself and after you define all that is we are going to talk about the etl tool data services because data services or or the etl tool which we are going to talk comes in the later part of the picture it is required only to move data from sources to targets so can't we move everything from source to target ourselves yes we can move 
but there is no proper structure all you are going to do is dump it into a flat file without all you are doing is you are using the same carton for your refrigerator and the same thing for a microwave and the same thing for your shoe think about a refrigerator how big it is and a small microwave and and your shoe rack all are definitely different but you are using the same flat file approach which is going to fail so now i want a more sophisticated tool that can give me not only the outline of not only uh, that not only help me in moving data from source to target it can also help me to do more things it it is going to help me to monitor i mean things that are going to come into the data warehouse should be scalable you should be able to uh, you should be able to benchmark saying this is what i have in data warehouse night what has happened how how much records are being loaded which fact tables are affected which uh, dimension tables are affected you want it to understand all this that is possible with the etl tool so why is data services as a right choice the first important thing we'll have to understand is as i told you data where uh, data services is just not an etl tool it can do beyond that what i mean is it cannot do data modeling it cannot uh, do dimensional modeling but it can keep track it it can keep track of, about every small piece of data that you are moving from one place to other place it can make the metadata available easily so that the metadata integrator is the one which is definitely required for the presentation layer the business intelligence tools can access the metadata from here and can easily publish the statistics or the 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 reports so that is where etl tool like data services will help so sap data services it is just not the etl tool it is more than that so why am i putting a sap as a source i mean i am showing you an sap uh, uh, database application why am i showing showing it first is sap data services is is been acquired by sap and most people think about okay sap data services is going to uh, move data from an sap system to an sap system no it can handle more than that it can handle oracle as a source or target it can definitely handle mysql as a source or target any database like sql server or or it can also handle the salesforce which is a cloud computing tool you can always integrate salesforce application uh, with any database by using data services and it can also get data from xmls it can do it from flat files because not everything you can wrap it in a box for example your kitchen item when you purchase they are in a different shape definitely you can you got them in a nice package but while going from home to home you cannot pack them in the same way all you are going to do is use a gunny bag put everything in it that is a flat file i'm talking about use a gunny bag put everything into it and move it and people soft it is a more of a, a hr or a crm database people soft can be used for more than one thing so it is just an example it can integrate with people soft it can integrate from an excel sheet all you have is the end report uh, still i wanted to move this reported data into my data warehouse can i move it yes you can move it through a workbook which is an excel sheet finally can i move it into an sap environment yes you can have sap as source you can have sap as target you can do an heterogeneous environment non sap to sap you can do an homogeneous environment which is an sap to sap non sap to sap sap to non sap and an sap to sap all are definitely possible with sap data services so i call this more uh, not only just an etl tool it is more than that so if you ask me what all it can handle it can handle all these kinds of sources and this kind of targets so can i data or can i write data into a flat file my target can be a flat file yes can i put uh, data into an excel sheet yes can i create an xml file and ship it somewhere yes you, everything is possible with data services so data services sap business objects data services application can help by delivering a single enterprise class solution for data integration data quality data profiling text analysis that allows you to integrate transform improve and deliver trusted data that supports critical business process and enables sound decisions that is all about data services it can so now we are going to talk about data a little bit guys 
why is data profiling important here data profiling last time i would have mentioned about it when you take an user driven approach you are going to find out what is the volume of items that are in each each apartment yes they will give you some you are also going to go and look into each and every home and make note of that i have all these items there that is one definitely possible thing beyond that beyond that what all you can do in the profiling you can actually you'll have to put up an estimate you'll have to say this is the largest object in this this particular bedroom this is the smallest object in the bedroom so you definitely have to make note of everything so that is data profiling you'll have to put it on a paper and say i have a a uh, 1960s uh, huge bed in there so its weight is more than 200 kg so i need five people to move that in the same way in and in a database language you are going to definitely find out there is a high volume table in which there is 5 gigabytes of or 5 terabytes of data in which there are some data types that are specific to the database which i will have to convert it into a different data type when i move into the target this is all data profiling data quality why we require quality quality is when you are moving from an old home to a new home always you will try to take only that good things which are usable in the new family home or what you will try to do is you will try to repair them before you put it into your new home or you will try to buy a new product replace it with that particular uh, particular uh, uh, unrepairable or or what do you say uh, and a very bad shape product you want to dump it and then buy a new thing before you go in a new family you have all this possibility so that is where data quality is concerned so it can also give you quality statistics so that it can advise you saying okay modify it this is the actual thing you have to move into the new house don't uh, take the old one it can do the data quality so it can do data quality data profiling and finally it can integrate or transform what is meant by integration integration is a little bit different than conversion when you convert it is a one time happening when you try to integrate every time when you get something in the source you are trying to move it to the target uh, for that i cannot uh, give you a uh, a normal example in in general what we can uh, give related to the normal world is if you are doing a business you have some orders you will have to let us say i'm doing pickle business so i'm trying to manufacture pickles i'm trying to ship these pickles or sell these pickles first so it is a process first you get an order for 100 pickles 100 bottles of pickles you ma manufacture it and then you'll have to pack it properly then choose what is the shipping mode you want whether you want to do ground shipping or air shipping and then ship it how do you want to invoice the customer all at once or 50 50 or what is the return policy everything you'll have to make a note and then finally you deliver it so the integration layer is whenever you get an order you immediately have to pass it to your warehouse and it should immediately fulfill the order or execute the order so it is more real time you cannot wait until the entire night to do it it is immediate you got the request the request has to be shipped there you have to do it if you raise a request on amazon.com or costco it is going to happen the same way the moment you order an item it will say it is in process it is uh, been shipped you can track it on usps all this so that is what is integration about you will have to be definitely uh, definitely or immediately move the data from the source to the target uh, not like the nightly or backloads so integration is also possible with data services it can handle the real time uh, data there and it can actually help you by putting uh, 